All right, art students, we are back at the drawing table, and today is going to be a different kind of video. I have these action figures I'm going to review. Now, I saw these things on Amazon. last week and I said to myself this might be something good for people who don't have a big budget that want to buy figures that can pose because these are supposed to be really posable now um, truth be told this is the second time I'm filming this the first time I filmed it as soon as I got the box I opened the box I didn't take anything out and I, I wanted to give you my first impression of the things as I was filming it, but as I filmed it, I had an air purifier running in the background, which I didn't think was that loud. And my camera was turned that way. It was filming the wrong way. So I said, let me go and do this again. So I think this is better now that I have messed with these figures. So I can give you just a quick rundown of the good, the bad and the ugly. Okay. So first of all, these, the set of five, they come in, uh, there's, there's 13 figures total. They're all the same. It's just the different colors. Um, you can get the set of five, which is this was $19.99. And that's what attracted me. I was like, oh, $20, you get five figures and you pose them all um, in a way that you want to. Maybe take a picture of them and then draw them, you know, for your comic or whatever you're doing. Uh, you can get a set of nine for $30.99 or just one for $8, $7.99, which is still not bad. Now, when I opened the pack, I opened this yellow one. This is why the yellow one is the only one that has the hands on it. And I was messing with the yellow one. The bad started coming before the good. Now, the first thing I wanted to do, I wanted to see if uh, if you could, if, if an action figure can do a split. Let me move these up. If an action figure can do a split, you got the hey, right off the bat, you're good to go. Because so, every action figure needs to do a split. So you can just do that little side kick. You can't see this, so let me let me try to keep it to the side. You can do that little side kick. That um, oh okay, so this broke off. Let me keep going, and I, I'll I'll just pop this back back on. So you can do that little side kick to you know do what you got to do for your for your um for your <laughs> for your drawing. Speak, Brian. Speak. Okay, so when I first took it out the package. Stuff started falling off. These are 3D printed. And the thing is, they're called, they're called like three or four different things. If you go on Amazon, you see it. It doesn't have a name like Bandai or, or Johnny's, you know, action figures. It's just, I think it's just a new company. Maybe it's a refresh. Let's just say some young people started this whole thing. And it's kind of taking off, I guess. But it's 3D printed. And the bad thing about that is if you have like dozens and dozens of 3D printers printing, then stuff is not going to fit right. It's going to be not put together right. The whole nine yards, you can kind of figure that out. So each one of these have multiple joints to it. Let me let me show you this. This where's the big one? This is another one. It shows you all of it. You can you can completely disassemble it and reassemble it and add, you know, change colors to create your own type of figure. Let me get a little closer. So these are the parts, but it comes like this. It comes together like this, like, like this. But when I started opening the bag, stuff was falling off because it's not put together really tightly. They're, they're, they're light. They're really light. They're not put together tightly. So like this comes off, it just pops right off but it can stick back on. But the thing is, it doesn't, it's not gonna really stay on too tight. Um, let's talk about range of motion real quick. You have your, your, your swivel here. Let's keep it down so that we can see. You have this joint or the, the hip right here. You have a little, a little turn right here and they're all held together by these little ball joints right here. They're just little balls that you pop into these little, let's just call them claws, and they just kind of pop in. And they, as I say, when I say they just kind of pop in, they just kind of pop in. So if this is the ball and this is the little claw, shall we say, instead of it holding like this, it's more like this. 
you know, so it could come out at any time. But again, these are 3D printed. This is not a big company. I think they just want to mass produce these things to get them out. Maybe later if somebody comes out with another type or maybe the 2.0 figures would be a little tighter. But as I said, they have so many little things that just pop off that you can pop back on. Some stay, some don't. Um, the head is not bad. And I believe this is the back of the neck because it it was turned around and I couldn't figure it out. And when I first opened it, I didn't want to like twist something and break it because I know everything pops off. So I didn't want to twist it and break it. The arms kind of rotate, but they come off really quickly. There's supposed to be a, a little arm thing here. This is somewhere because I took them out. I took, I took them, I did the review. I put them back all in a Ziploc bag. So, you know, oh, there could be pieces. Oh, here it is. It's just down. It goes up. That's one thing. It goes down and up, which I kind of like it. Um, swivel all the way around. But as you can see, that little joint. Let's see if I can get something in the background. That little joint is not going to really stay in there. It can pop out, but you can pop it back in. Uh, I said this. Twist a little bit until it falls out. Twist about right there. That much twist to it until it falls out. These these little side pieces fall off. This has got a nice little swivel here. Go there. Uh, the <clears throat> the leg goes all the way back up, which is good. The toe is um, uh, I can't think of the, the word of it. The joint is right here. That's good. Uh, this will go all the way back. Even the feet, because a couple of them, when I took it out, the foot had fallen off. The, fall, the foot was not connected in the bag. So these things right here slide up and down. I don't know why. I don't know if that was something it was meant to. But if the foot comes off, it's better to pull it, slide it, let's say it's pants leg up, pop it on, and push it back down. But if you push it back down too much, the foot will pop off again. Um, the head just came off. That's new. But as I say, it, the thing completely comes apart so you can mix and match colors and everything just kind of pops back on like so. Problem is, and this is the one problem, is that the front or the back? This is the front. Is that the front or the back? Well, I guess this is supposed to be his chest. I guess. <laughs> I don't know. No, but see this one? I think this is the back. I don't know how they got turned around. Take a look at the picture. Yeah, that's the front. The smooth part is the front. Yeah, so anyway, these guys are turned around. And that's one of the things that I was going to get to. Um, because this blue guy, to me, this blue guy is just like, he's useless because he won't hold a pose. He will and he won't, but it's just his joints are so loose. And as I said, when you get something that's 3D printed, a continuously quickly 3D printed, I believe that is his back and this is his front smooth part. And they're mass produced. You're going to get a lot of mistakes made. And then maybe that's why they're so cheap because they are mass produced. Um, like I say, the one thing is you can get them and then the joints are just so loose. They're just so loose that they won't hold their position. So what good is it if it's not going to hold its position? And the thing is, if you use it constantly, then how long would it be before it just goes limp and just drops and won't hold its position? Now, I guess you can maybe use some type of glue or something to add to the tightness, not completely glue it down, but just stuff that you can add to the tightness to, to help it. Now, this one was the only one that really, really held. It was really stiff. It's stiff. And it's good, but as I say, the longer you use it, how long will the joints hold together or hold that, that, that tightness? But again, the same thing. This, when they put this together, this elbow piece right here on the side, they put it on the front so it won't go. Maybe I guess I can take it apart somehow and then turn it around. I haven't really tried to mess with the joints, the, the arm yet, but again, when it's put together, mass produce, like again, this is his back, that's his back, and that's his back. And I just now noticed this. 
So I guess if I take it apart and turn it around, put that back on and put this on. That's his front. Yeah, this is his front. Yeah, so turn the head around. I guess I'd have to turn the arms around. And then we got it going. But it's, it's so loose. Again, that's the only down draw I would say about these things. It's because the potential of them being really fun to, to mess with and to be creative with is, is like, is there, you know, but you don't know what you're getting if you get one that's really tight and loose. And again, how long will it last? So it comes with three different hands, three sets of hands, the little open hand. It has one where you can hold the, the gun, the weapons. It's got a little hole in it. And then you have the regular fists right here. Now, the crazy part is that ball has to go into this little socket and it's not easy. Some might be, but the ones that I have messed with were not easy to get in. And this, oh, <clears throat> this also slides up and down like that. I don't know if that was a purposeful thing or if it was just, there's just extra room in there. So I had last time I had to put the thing on the table and push down and I was afraid to break it. You see, you can't put it in, you can't put it in all the way. You have to put it in where it's like this to move around, which means it can come up easily. Um, posability, I said, let me strike a pose real quick, but I'm, I'm you're looking from up and I'll lay it on the side. You got this, you can bend the toe. The toe does not come in that I noticed, it does not go up all a lot because one of them, when I got it, this was off and I'm trying to, I was trying to figure out where these pieces go because every time I picked it up, something would pop off and I'm like, what, where does, what is this? Where does it go? Because I, this is my first time seeing it. So I don't want to use the blue because the blue guy is just, he's out there. The yellow, let's see, foot just popped off again. So let's push this up, push this, pull his little pants leg up, shall we say. And just pop that on the feet, pop on nicely. I was going to say posable, pos posability, posability. And before I get into that one, this one that I said this, this is his little kneecap, his little kneecap, which is clear. I wanted to, if they had put the black figure with these, I would have been more excited, but they put this clear one in. I think you have to buy the black one separately or yeah. Uh, this popped off this little kneecap piece. And good luck finding it, Brian, because it's clear and I don't, I saw it shoot past me and it just is gone. So yeah, as I said, you know, putting stuff together, mass production, it's going to be messed up somehow, somewhere. So be prepared. Um, if you can get it to stand, this is why I had to get this white piece of paper because they'll, they will stand, <coughs> they will stand if you balance them right but I guess it depends on the type of pose that you have, on the type of pose that you want. It was almost there, Brian. You hit him with your thumb. Yeah, I mean, so they will stand in, you know, various positions, which I give that good marks. Um, it also comes with, they come with these, this crazy looking knife, but being 3D printed, you can see this little, this little piece right here. So I had to take scissors and ream out one of the hands because there were there was pieces of the plastic sticking out and it wouldn't go in. So you have this, and there's nothing sharp about this. These are just square, you know, just square-ish looking, you know, things. They're just, I believe they're just for posing. They're for kids, number one, you know, they're just for posing, number two. Because with this trident, everyone doesn't have the trident, but they have that, this, they have the sword, um, where, <coughs> where is it? The little gun. <coughs> Let me get a drink of water and this little big old battle axe right here. Let me get a drink of water. <coughs> All right, so the figures are 
Five inches with it. Where's my little ruler? I had it. Five inches tall, if I'm not mistaken. This is the this is the Figma figure. This is the Figma Figma figure. All right, but how about we just push it all over? <laughs> this is the Figma figure, which is the same size. Um, this is the body coon or body chan. One one of the two. I don't know if you can even get the Figma figures anymore. So anybody right? Like, where did you get that? I don't think you can get them. You can get them bootleg, but they're gonna not be good. It's the body whichever one the female is and this is the male which to me <clears throat> is the best figure you can get but this if you don't know this thing was like $110 yes it was because I bought the set and it had like cell phone uh, gun sword laptop it had a lot of stuff it was kind of like the, the set you know that's why I call it but still $110 but we're not talking about this let's get him out the way we're talking about these little $20 guys right here that you can pose and draw. And I wanted to set because you can get one, I think I said that you can get one for $7.99, $8. But if you have a group of um, figures together, it's easier to do like a fight scene, pose them for a fight scene or something like that. Or if you have your group standing together, you can pose them for like a group drawing. And that's why I wanted to get it because it was cheap and I wanted to see how good it was so I could recommend it to you guys. Um, what else was there I wanted to say? Three sets of hands, guns, sword. I think the Triton came with the clear one. So everybody else had the same thing, the sword, the gun, um, crazy chicken chopping knife, and the battle axe. Okay, and I was I was in and out with the good and the bad. Again, bad. You don't know what you're getting because the joints could be so loose and how long like this fig this this toe is just like he's through. Can they be tightened? I don't know. I don't know. How long will the joints last if <coughs> you're continually posing it? That's that's a good question. If the joints were tight, I would give this like a I give this a 9.5 out of 10. If the joints were tight, well, eight, and the little pieces wouldn't fall off the sides. But you don't need the pieces. If I'm drawing something, if I'm trying to figure out what a pose looks like with one guy here and another guy here, and I forgot my I'm forgetting my camera's up. I don't need, you know, like the shoulder pads. And you know all this extra stuff. I just need to see the basic position that they're in. So yeah, if you buy them, be prepared that all these things are going to fall off. I mean, if you want to just put them in one position and leave them, I would hook everything up and then you know do what you got to do. But for twenty dollars, it's not bad. It was not a bad deal. If you tend to buy it. If you don't want all five, I would get one, maybe two, but still that's $14 and a couple more dollars you can get all five. But the only bad part is the joints, the joints that how long will it stay up if I do these things? How long is it going to stay? How long is it going to last before it drops down? Like this guy, this arm right now is like, is ready to fall. So <clears throat> yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a quick review of these things as I said I did it before I reviewed it before and as I was putting them up all these things I was these new things I was seeing and because the first film didn't come out right <clears throat> I said let me just do it again again it drops off so and that's not a bad thing it's not a bad thing I'm gonna say it's not a bad thing because they're made to come apart and get put back together That's why I would give it an eight if stuff was a little tight. But I mean, you know, something inexpensive, something that you don't have to really worry, worry about. Like this expensive guy right here, you don't have to really worry about if if it falls and parts of it breaks. Because you can always pop another arm off of somebody else and stick them on or the head or whatever. So a 
Let's see if I covered everything. Oh, and what is it? It's assembly completed action figures. That's one thing that it's called. It's also called T13. And if you go online um, and look at the little video that comes with it, it's called Dan 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 D A N O N I. So it's like I don't know if they got a company name for these things or not. I don't I don't know. I don't know. I just wanted to get these for you guys to see and try it. Maybe, you know, this may be the next big thing. Who knows? Who knows? So anyway, that's going to be it. But um, yeah, yeah. What, what more can I say about it? It is very posable. Dropped off. Look at that. It's just just falling apart. <laughs> but it is very posable. Hopefully, <clears throat> I'm not going to use these anymore. I'm going to put these back in my Ziploc bag and put them up. But, and I think if you take the little hip joint off, you can get some extra range of motion from the thing. Like I said, it's not, it's not bad. It's not bad. It's just that because they're 3D printed and they're rushed and this is his back and it should be his front. And pop back in, turn them around, flip them over, turn the arms around, pop the arm off, put it back on. But that's too much. That's too much. I'm not, you know, I digress. I'm going to leave that for later. So I guess that should be enough information for you guys to, to know if, if it's worth it or not. If you've seen it on Amazon and like, you know what, maybe I'll try that. <sighs> yeah, if you get a good batch, I would say it's definitely worth it. <clears throat> so before I lose my voice, I'm going to end it here and I'll see you guys in the next video. If you decide to get these things, if you already got it, leave a comment. Let me know what you think about it. All right, so I'm out. Later. Okay, so before I call it quiz and I'm holding this phone by hand, um, I wanted to let you know because I don't know if I was really clear about this. Each figure comes individually wrapped in a little bag like this, and they have <clears throat> their weapons like this. I didn't open all the weapons. I didn't need to open them because, like I said, they're the same. So they come like this. There's no printing on the bags or the package because, as I said, they're kind of like a... Um, there's no name, there's no company name or anything like that. And it comes in this, when it came in this little beat up box, it's like they threw it against my front door, you know, so there's no, even though I got it from UPS, there's no UPS box. So I believe it is a private company that are putting these out. <clears throat> I don't know why I'm losing my voice, but this is how they come, like I say, individually. So there's hands for everybody, not just the, the little hands that I showed you. His hands and his weapons for each one so I just wanted to make that clear and um, yeah if you want certain colors I guess you have to buy them individually because this these are the ones you get when you get the package of five you get more if you get the package of nine but I guess if you want all 13 you have to actually buy the colors that you don't get so that's it see you later